I learned a lot about myself as a player, obviously, but then kind of how I was going to react to because I guess you just don't know until you're in it. So I definitely experienced a lot of ups and a lot of downs. The rookie gets it done in the bottom of the tent. You can see the frustration on Volpe. It's tough to stick to it when you're not getting the results and you know you're capable of better and, and you have really high expectations for yourself. But to be able to just take a step back and have some perspective and go through it. The mental reset was definitely good, but I was definitely itching to get back. And even especially getting down here now, I feel like everyone's ready to go. The goal is to stay healthy and be able to perform, so it's definitely a lot of hard work and stuff that I took from last season, stuff that I like, stuff that I didn't like that I feel like I could put into this year. My number one goal for this offseason was like put myself in the best position to play 162 games. I felt like I knew that I had a really good support system and we were working on the right things that obviously it was frustrating that you weren't getting the results, but I, I felt like if I kept putting in the work, kept trusting it, that everything was going to come and if anything I was going to learn what works and what doesn't and looking back I mean it was frustrating and sucked in the time but I think now being able to look back I'm so I'm definitely grateful to be able to go through that. Larry was my strength coach when I was in Pulaski right after I first got drafted and we pretty much went up every single level together into this past year being both of our rookie seasons in the big league so just to have that level of trust and communication and he knows my body, I know what he expects out of me. We've had him for quite some time now and I've been with him at many levels. Every every year it's still a new version of Volpe just because he's still growing, still getting more muscle mass, lean mass, uh, more mobility. So every year we still assess him and start from there and kind of see where we are and then have some goals in mind for where we want to get him to and we build up and reverse engineer the process and kind of go from there. To have someone that knows your foundation, knows what you work on, knows what you prioritize, and knows my goal. Like everything we're doing, everything has a time, everything has a place, and to treat this time of year is kind of when you're ramping up the baseball activity, and um, you're obviously still pushing in the weight room, but no one to push and pull, I think, is definitely really important. Although young, he definitely is a guy who's going to lead by example. He's already someone of a role model to some of the younger players in the organization. He's going to be the first, first one in, first one in the door every day, last one out. In a good way, not that he's overworking, but in the sense of that he wants to be the one that shows everybody, like, okay, like this is what we're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis, be super consistent with a really good work ethic. The main thing for me, and I think a couple of the other guys, have just been, like, communication. This like setting where there's no, not a game every single night and everyone's still kind of working on stuff and trying to fine tune everything. To be able to just have that open communication between the guys of like, hey, like when I'm feeling good, like this is what I, this is what I'm working on or this is what why I'm doing this. And obviously we're all watching our own videos every single night. To have that little time, like we're in the cage, it's August and the judge is watching me hit or something. He's like, hey, remember in January when we were in Tampa, you were doing this. Like maybe let, let's get back to that. I think it's going to definitely pay dividends during the season. Treat this time of year, like I said, like this time of year, and uh, get ready, but also kind of try to crescendo into the season. To be on the field every single day and then to be around guys that push you, I think that's the best thing. And I mean, even today, like we're doing like little competitions like that. Oh! That's, awful. that's my car that's right awful. there. Got a lot of work to do, dog. Come on, ball. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Ball. We got to go off of here. Get back in the game. Hey. Get on that side. Hey. Get up there! Yeah. And he went there! Yeah. Oh. Three. Oh. three. Oh, oh my God. We can that's start. We can, okay, yeah, that's out of three. Good luck. Same same rules? Yeah. Same rules. Yeah, good, good, good. Good take, good take. Nice work, homie. I think to have that and have that camaraderie and be able to push each other to get into spring, I think only helps.